Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Johnny here, JDFM. Welcome back to Market to Glory. Today's episode is an end of season review. We've zipped through, we've finished everything, and I'm smiling. Let's go. That is right, everybody. Here we are at the end of the season. It's the 4th of May in 2026. And this is probably the most impressive season we've had yet with Margate. It was an absolute walk in the park. And it was the, one of the main reasons back all those many months ago that I wanted to shoot forward to the end of the season. It would have been pointless coming back to say, oh, another 4-2 win. Oh, 3-0, lovely. Oh, let's get another 6-1 win in there. So I hope you agree I've done the right thing, but zipping through, we had a few scary points. February was not a good month. We lost a lot of games. We only won two out of the month. But still, it's been a very, very good season. Looking at the competitions, let's start off with League One then. That very impressive picture in front of you. We absolutely walked the league. We scored 102 goals in 46 games, conceded only 45. A brilliant goal difference of 57 points. 20 points clear of second place with Sheffield Wednesday. Remember, I did say there are some very big teams in this league. And some of them struggle massively. Middlesbrough in 19th position in League One dreadful but all that matters to me is that name at the top of the league and that is margate we are going to the championship next season it wasn't just a league that we did all right then there was one other competition and you might be thinking losing one nil to brentford isn't exactly incredible but look at the game above that liverpool three nil i don't know what happened well i do know what happened they turned up with a bunch of absolute second string 11 and we destroyed them and looking at that look how many adnan picked up in the fa cup so it was truly a very good run even against brentford look we took them to the 114th minute and then they eventually scored to break us down it would have been nice to go through to the next round i don't know who they would have played in the next round it was of course man city we would have been destroyed anyway but still i was very happy to have a nice little run in the emirates we got a bit of money gate receipts were through the roof carabao cup Papa John's Trophy, does it really matter? Nothing came home in those whatsoever. So there's the competitions out the way. Looking at the state of affairs for Margate, as things stand, we are growing in stature by the year at the moment. Our capacity is up to almost £6,000. We had a nice little expansion this season. Eventually moved back to Harstown Park after being homeless for a little while. In terms of facilities, all adequate, adequate. Average use, adequate training. I'm going to start looking to bump those up a bit. Finances are quite strong, but only because you soaked a lot of players. Each year, we're going to hemorrhage money, and that's kind of pass and pass. And until we get to the big leagues, maybe the championship, we'll have a little bit of an opportunity to get some more money in, because we are going to be coming up against some very big teams. We could be playing teams such as West Ham at the moment. The season isn't finished in the Premier League and is all to play for. Newcastle are probably safe. Southampton, Bournemouth and West Ham. They're going to be in the mix for going down. At the moment, we could be playing the mighty West Ham in the Championship next season. Aside from that, the other big teams, depending who goes up or not, Aston Villa are there. We've got the mighty Swansea down in 14th. We're going to be coming up against those Watford, Blackburn. Big, big clubs there historically that we're going to come up against. And I'm excited for it. So league out the way, let's have a look at some of the star performers this season for Margate. To be fair, as a team, they've all turned up. Everybody's performed admirably. Really, really happy with some players in particular. Goals-wise, we're looking at St Stuart Jeffries, who came on a load from Blackburn, who we're going to be up against next season. What a player this lad was. 20 goals in 35 games. A, a genuine star player, and I think he's going to go on to big things. Hadja Adnan, who we own... 14 goals, 10 assists in 33 games. Didn't perform above a 7 for the season, but still a very, very good player. Aside from that, Harvey White, the boy who just loves taking penalties. Considering he played defensive midfielder role, he rocked up with 11 goals and 11 assists. Very happy with Harvey. 1.4 million. Who wants him? Cardiff. If they come in with that money, he's gone. Remember now, he didn't cost us an absolute penny. Jeremy Wood, another random one. 11 goals, 9 assists in the league alone. Bit more than that across the board. Doesn't really turn up for the big games. Got old Jezza, but he's yet again another big performer. Aside from that, my player of the season is this lad, Mike Fromm. He is growing ridiculously well. He's 17 years old. He's only worth £82,000. Five-star potential. Current ability of three and a half. He's going this summer. I've resigned myself to the fact 
six foot three, big ass player. If we look at the transfer, there are one or two teams in for him. The fact that we got promoted to the championship might help us, but Arsenal, Newcastle, West Ham, well, there's some big teams here who could quite easily come in and offer him. Um, he's not first team ready, he's not going to be. And any person we sell him to, we're getting a loan back agreement. So I'm confident he'd be with us next season, but we probably won't own him. And finally, let's look at this end of season review then. Let's see the new arrivals. Who do they think is best? Harvey White and Stuart Jeffries already mentioned very good performance for the season. Hadjar Adnan, who is a new one. And to be fair, he's the one that's actually ours. And that's quite nice as well. Harvey is also. We, we did very well in the last transfer window. I'm still surprised with that result. But look, by bravely against relegation, we bossed the league by 20 points. Madness. Absolutely madness. Biggest win, 6-1 away to Middlesbrough. Terrible team. The master, remember, was the 4-1 Papa John's trophy against MK Dons. I, I don't remember that. I'll be honest, it doesn't stick to my head. Goal of the season goes to good old Georgie Hughes. 27 metre free kick. 27 metres, that would be huge, to be fair. Revenue, I wonder, did Adnan get shirt sales? Is there one of the main reasons I bought him? 678 shirts sold. I was expecting more from Asia, I'll be honest with you. I was expecting a couple of zeros added on to that. But still, he's only a growing player. Maybe next year we'll have a lot more. Our main 11 is there. And actually, if you look at the midfield, stats-wise, we're not doing that strong. Up top, 7.17. And the centre-backs, I've not mentioned those, but fantastic players. Absolutely brilliant. The accolades, what are we say in. Manager of the Month Award for August. That's all I won, by the way. We were expected to get relegated, and I took this team to promotion by 20 points, and I've not even received Manager of the Season. Stinks. Absolutely stinks. Player of the Season, no surprise, Harvey White. Absolutely mops up. Really happy with that one. No competition awards. Lots of other awards in there, but... It's the same faces throughout. What a fantastic season that has been. Let's finish it indeed. And we're going to look forward to the championship. God knows what's going to happen. I, I can't see us going up for a good couple of seasons. The championship is always a very tough league. Vanaramas and the championship are the hardest leagues in football manager without a doubt. It's such a golfing class between the Premier League and the Champions League. The championship even. To get up there is... It's going to take a long time. My contract expires in the next season. We are just being asked to fight bravely against relegation, which I'll take. First season, if we can just get up there. And the one thing I want to do as well is develop some youngsters as well. Our youngsters coming through are terrible. Dan Jones is the best potential player. He's just dreadful. So we're going to plough some money into the youth growth of this club and i'm hoping to get some homegrown players that can maybe push us into that premier league spot and there we have it boys and girls the end of the season the championship is next year we'll be back very shortly for that one we've got a busy summer of growth ahead of us i want to bring in a few more players get some of these loans out and actually bring in some of our own players and have a good little push in the championship if you did enjoy that episode please hit the thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed to the channel come on over hit that button and I'll see you here next time for the next episode of Margate Glory. You guys take care.